Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to day three of our BU 365 day challenge. Today we're going to talk about a concept called W-I-I-F-U. And I actually found a card that reminded me of this from a deck of cards. I love those decks of cards. For yesterday I said I was a little freaked out and I needed to create more structure. I guess I was uncomfortable, not freaked out. So yesterday I sat down for a while not nearly as much time as I had wanted because life gets busy. There's a whole bunch going on around the holidays and everybody getting back into the new year. But I did frame out a structure for the year and started to pull in some of my resources and tools and things that I want to make sure that I cover throughout the course of the year and share with you. Things that really helped me to remind myself that the most important thing on the planet is that we be ourselves and we continually improve and become a better version of ourselves day after day after day. So what does WIIFU stand for? You might or might not have heard of WIIFM depending on your experiences and the circles that you run in. I've heard about it for decades because it comes up in both the personal development world and it comes up in sales and marketing as well as in business and manufacturing. We have to keep in mind what's in it for me. So WIIFM is said to be everyone's favorite radio station because what's in it for me? And we are always asking ourselves the question, what's in it for me to do this? What's in it for me to go here? What's in it for me to learn this? What's in it for me to be in a relationship with this or that person? What's in it for me to spend my money or resources or time or energy on a certain thing? We always, whether we say it out loud or not, we always answer that question to ourselves before we choose and make a decision to do something. So WIIFU is what's in it for you. And my question for you today and our action item that I'd like you to share in the comments below is what's in it for you to participate and get to know yourself better, to participate in this challenge, to spend a little bit of time every day and just a little bit of time every day thinking about and considering what makes you work? What feels good to you? What doesn't feel good to you? What's important to you? What's not important to you? I decided for the month of January, since it's a new year and everybody tends to focus on these things a lot anyway, I'm going to focus on our physical well-being. So things that have to do with our physical well-being we'll touch on during the month of January, January this year. And in about the middle of it, I think when people start to give up on their New Year's resolutions because we start the year out all excited and then we fizzle out, I will hit us up with the physical SOAP framework. We'll go through my favorite framework, which is the SOAP framework, and we'll apply that to a physical aspect of our life. So if you're starting to lose energy on your New Year's resolution, we'll hit that right away. That'll revitalize and recharge your batteries with respect to committing to that New Year's resolution. And you'll have a chance to examine and really decide if it's the right thing for you. You'll decide what's in it for you and if that motivates you to continue working on your New Year's resolution. This well-being card just says, I'm going to grab a magnifying glass and see what it has to say. It looks like a little snow angel. To allow well-being, I must be in joy. And it reminds us that um, in the same way you cannot set your radio tuner to 98.6 and receive the songs playing on 101 FM, you must set your own vibrational tuner to one of well-being. Now, I would say what you set your cell phone to or your listening device or your TV or your computer, if you set it to one channel, say you're on YouTube and you want to watch a hypnosis video on your physical well-being or, or to get more energy and you accidentally go to a different channel or put in the wrong search, you're not going to get the outcome that you want, right? You're not going to get to watch the video that you want. So you have to find the right channel, the right inputs and the right reason in order, which is the vibration, our vibration, our energy that we're putting out and helping us examine our reasons helps us to raise our vibration. We have to raise our vibrations to get the things that we want and to have us be in well-being. So that's just a little fun thing to keep in mind today. Remember what's in it for you. Think about today what's in it for you to do this challenge, to do and spend a little time on yourself every day. Share one thing in the comments below or share one thing in the comments below that's in it for you to pay attention to your physicality, to your physical well-being. That's it. Have an awesome day. If I can help in any way, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.